Did Kabam yesterday tease Onslaught coming to the game? A new version of Ghost Rider and part of the spirit of Vengeance? And also did they tease potentially a upgraded but familiar champion? Which could be anything. It could even be a Hydra Supreme. We're going to go into that in this particular video. And look at a little bit of uh, comic book history and things just like pad the arguments and ideas. So if you saw uh, this particular uh, stream, the live stream... Not doing very good to get it into shot. There we go. If you saw this live stream, you'll know that some things were teased, some different things for different months, right? So one of the first things that was teased was the month of uh, September. If I can get the image into shot. Well, I think don't think there's an image there. But there was something for September that basically said, and, and what we all know to be true. There's no kind of like skirting around the fact that the summoner's choice is coming in. And of course, that uh, the... The winning champion, as we know, is Gladiator. So, as you know, we're getting Gladiator in September, which is fantastic. But he is joined by a Master of Evil, okay? Who is that Master of Evil? Or is it a Master of Evil? So, there's so many Masters of Evil to choose from. But, honestly, take your pick with, with them. You, it, it could be anything. And, and as well, one thing Kabam did say is that it could be a uh, an upgraded version of somebody that may be familiar. Now, what what is that going to be? What is that going to be? Is it going to be an upgraded version of Yellow Jacket? Is it going to have a new costume, new outfit? Maybe, don't know, possibly mystery. Could it be one of some of the various other ones? Quite possibly, there's tons of Masters of Evil uh, to choose from. Could be Ulysses Claw. Maybe not. Could be one that's been mentioned. Could be not. So I think this one is still very much a mystery without any kind of like logical kind of thought process of who it could be. There could be a very far out there uh, thought. And I, the person even said, the command member of staff said like, um, you, you, you're probably not going to get this uh, this particular one. My kind of like thought of this one or my kind of guess is Hydra Supreme. I kind of feel like because we know him, because we know him as being like an alternate version of Steve Rogers, uh, that would be an interesting type one. I don't think he's like a, a, a per se a, um, no, he's definitely not a member of Masters of Evil, um, but he is somebody that's gone to war against the Masters of Evil. So I don't know if there could be something um, that they're battling for the Isosphere, which they're doing. I don't know. I am really am a little bit clutching at straws straw, straw to try and find like a good kind of like a link right here. But at least we know that that is what is guaranteed for um, what well, Masters of Evil could be our potential kind of like uh, alternate champion that comes in. But October is different because it's a very much Morbius event. One thing that was said in this one is we are going to see a uh, kind of like we're in swamps. We're in swamps. Why am I in swamps? Don't know. Morbius is our main champion that we know of. We know that we're using Lil Steve this month, so the month of October. But Kabam were kind of like saying that this is very much a monster type theme. And this gets the kind of like the juices flowing when it comes to uh, story crafting or crafting in general, who we think this, this could be, because there's tons. First of all, I went with uh, Swarm, but. Do bear in mind, Kindred and Swarm are kind of similar in how they would be presented. So it kind of makes no sense to have uh, that as, uh, as... Well, Swarm, I think Swarm is Kindred and Kindred is Swarm. So uh, look, that, that's kind of like throwing that out the window right off the bat. That can just jog on when it comes to like an option. So what else is an option? Well, there's... There's plant-based Marvel Contest Champions, or plant-based uh, Marvel characters, and also there's monsters, which I've been doing a little bit of research on. And it could be a few uh, monsters. There's a lot of monsters still to kind of put in. You could have Gollum, which the thing that walks like a man. I, I don't think it's going to be that. Again, I think it's very far-fetched. But, you know, MCOC is all about the far-fetched, isn't it? What else? Well... <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. This this actually gives me the kind of like I really hope Kabam don't do this. Franken Castle, okay? A Frankenstein Frank Castle. Uh no, thank you. Um this is a bit of an iffy comic book for me in any case, but I think it's more of an iffy Marvel Contest of Champions Champions. It would be an interesting tech champion to add to the game. 
But I don't know. I don't know. It's an iffy one. It's such an iffy one to go whether or not I'd like this if they put it in. I hope it isn't. But it is monster themed. And this is indeed a monster. Um, there's a, there's more monsters. Uh, oh, no, there's not any monsters. No, no, I did have one other. I can't find it. But I was going to go with... That's it. There was this, there's this other option of Hannibal King. I kind of think that it would be a cool tie-in to have Hannibal King as being a um, uh, a character. If you've seen Blade 3, which, you know, not a lot of people have seen Blade 3. I personally love the Wesley Snipes uh, Blade series. And, of course, Ryan Reynolds was Hannibal King. Um, so it kind of makes more sense to have Hannibal King and Morbius in the same month. Bit of a far up there. The only other thing I could say is that it would be Werewolf by Night, Man Wolf, or something like that. But again, it's an iffy one. It'd be interesting to know who would be the second champion in October. That's obviously not Morbius. That would be pretty cool um, to kind of note that. So now we've got to move on to um, November. Now, November is something that Caban were giving the indication that this is going to be very much the new Kabam champion, which is going to be in, of course, November, but also to, um, you know, work alongside that particular champion. And the kind of narrative is all about, like, you know, say some evil thing happens that's worse than Satan. Uh, could be Mephisto. Um, he's pretty evil. But he needs to, Satan needs to enlist the help of uh, the Spirit of Vengeance. So Spirit of Vengeance will be a new Ghost Rider, potentially, right? And there's a few Ghost Riders to mention. There's there's, there's quite a few. Uh, I did have a joke one to start off with, uh, which was, if I can get this into uh, a large kind of like uh, thing. Well, it's, um, oh, what was it? It's Sean, Sh uh, Sean, Sean O'Gase, Sean O'Gnacy? No, Knuckle, no, that's it. <laughs> Don't forget, Knuckles O'Shaughnessy. God, I that. I'm, there's, there's a little bit of Irish blood in me. I can't even do that. Knuckles O'Shaughnessy. Um, so yeah, ah, where to take on Knuckles O'Shaughnessy? I ah, hit you with me, with me um, barbed wire bat or me nailed bat. Like I think I'm Negan from um, the the Walking Dead. So it is because that's how I imagine Knuckles O'Shaughnessy uh, speaks. He does not speak like that. Look, in November it could be literally anyone. Throw a option out there it could be it it could be uh what's this one i should really do my research before i had them a moment ago and i was like oh it's this one um the cowboy version of uh, of this but i kind of think that it would be robert reyes um robert reyes makes more sense uh as a as a kind of character because it's a light character people like robbie reyes as a uh as a, as a ghost rider i think it could be pretty badass i know a lot of people think this is very badass so I'll go with Robbie Reyes as being this, and I think the Kabama could have a lot of fun with kind of making it. But a brand new Ghost Rider, a Cosmic Ghost Rider, and obviously now we need um, you know Robert Reyes uh, Ghost Rider. It's it's one a lot of people have been talking about for a while, especially with the um, what is it called? A is it Agents of Shield that he was that he was in? I think he was in that one. A lot of people really liked that, wanted it, didn't get it in game. You know, um, it, it is what it is with with that. Now. Um, yeah, so the last one on November is going to be our Kabam exclusive champion. We're going to learn more about that in the coming weeks and months. I think months mainly because it's going to be revealed in the Battle Realm Brawl and the Summoner Sanctum. So if you're going there, I plan to go to that. Should be good. And as well, you'll find out more about you know the new uh, Kabam champion that's coming into game. Now, and what else is that December? The, we end up on December. Now, I went a complete wrong direction with this one because I was like, I was listening more to what was said in the narrative, which was Santa. They were talking about Santa, a, you know, a big, big red person. I was thinking, what, Santa actually coming into game? Like, really? And I was thinking to myself, like, all right, for this month, it's going to be this. Like a big red thing and like sleigh and it's um, slot. The thing is, then I was like, "Hang on a minute, what's this all about?" And then at the end of it, they threw up. Um, and uh, what was it? Uh, the at the end they threw up this uncanny X Men. Let's put it into shot right about now. This uncanny X Men um comic book, 
and it's like who killed who stopped the juggernaut now the thing that stopped the juggernaut which i was like okay well this is quite obviously going to be something like and when i was i think i was going to research it i was like oh this is going to be um i think it's siren i was like oh siren and i was like coming back to oh it's santa because santa's part of marvel kind of canon uh, but no, if you have read the comic book, um, which we've got a snippet of on screen right now, right at the end of it, it does slay, slay, it does slay, it does say onslaught. So I think what Kabam are doing, um, because it said, oh, you didn't read a comic, uh, is it's going to be onslaught. Onslaught is going to be the December champion. If it is onslaught, if you've seen my video about how powerful this character could be, no wonder it will be a singular champion of focus on. And is going to be pretty darn spicy. We've covered this before. If you've seen the video, go back and watch that video. And I think it's like the top five most powerful champions that would be kind of great to bring to the game. Really recent, funny enough, last month I posted that particular video. Mega. Um, uh, and that could mean that, yes, Onslaught be coming into the game. Onslaught's mana as a manifestation, and what it and yeah, what it could do will just it, it could break the game. Like, I hope it does, because I'd like to see a new powerful champion you can play. And will th what will this be as a manifestation? Because it's difficult, because this is... <sighs> Mental manifestation? How do you put that in as a game thing? Is this going to be a, um unspecified class? Because it's like, it's not... Is it mystic? Is it not? Because it's a manifestation. It's, it's, it's odd. We'll have to kind of go over this, if it's confirmed. If it's confirmed. But yeah, uh, that's it for the video. Who do you think's coming in in these respective months? And um, yeah, look out for more videos covering the uh, the live stream. And have a great day, whatever you're doing. And uh, I will see you all soon. Check out some other content located on screen. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.